Alrighty, everyone, if you chose option B2, we took out the iron filings using the magnet on the dry mixture. So iron is separate. And now we have to remove the salt, sand, and poppy seeds. So this option, the second option, is to use a little bit of water and then pour the mixture in the remaining mixture into the water. Stir, stir, stir with my stirring rod. And what we see is the poppy seeds are floating. So we're going to carefully remove the poppy seeds. And this tends to be a little difficult to do and you have to do it very quickly because the poppy seeds tend to get waterlogged and then sink. And then you have a really tough time separating them. So we're going to take out as many of the poppy seeds as possible using my spoon. There's still a couple that kind of sunk, so it's not the best option for making sure that you have a pure separation. And then, of course, you have some water in with your poppy seeds, so you can try to carefully pour some of the salt water because the salt dissolved and kind of dump it in. Poppy seeds behind. And then what we're going to do is take a piece of filter paper and I'm going to fold it in half one time. Oops, I have two pieces here. I'm going to fold it in half one time and then a second time. So make a little quarter. And then I choose to put my finger between one and three. So it makes a paper cup. Make sure I have something underneath to, oops, tap my salt water, and then I start filtering. And this is also a little bit of a timely process. It takes a little bit of time because you don't want it to overflow the funnel and the filter paper, but you should see that there are some drips coming through down here. And that is the salt water leaving the sand in the funnel. Okay, so we're gonna let this drip and we'll check back in a moment. Okay, all of the salt water went through, so I'm gonna take the salt water out and pour it into the evaporating dish on the hot plate. And that is on high. That takes about 20 minutes or so to get that out. So now the issue is how do we get the rest of those poppy seeds out? Well, something that we can do is add a little bit more water back to it. But this is mostly sand, okay? And I have some, I forgot in the mixture there was a little bit of the gray sand as well as some of the yellow sand. So what we can do is put some water back in since we didn't get all the poppy seeds out the first time. And then what we can do is come swirl it around and pour off the water with the poppy seeds. Okay, that leaves the sand behind. And then we can put the sand into one of these containers. There's our sand. Then we can pour off the water from the poppy seeds. So I have sand, poppy seeds, the dry iron filings, and then this will eventually be the salt. And voila, they are all separated.